<clears throat> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? Uh, so I'm working with the palette that I fell in love with when I first saw it, but when I went ahead and worked with it, I ended up with a couple of um, and they were more or less editorial looks, so I went back and tried to work with it a little bit more. Um, as far as what I started off with, as far as base, Misha number 21, this is on Amazon, and Pretty Fresh, uh, this is the one of the ColourPop concealers. And um, <clears throat> as far as where I went to for uh, blush, I used the Hope. Uh, by Rare Beauty, and I used a tip that um, actually I saw Kate the Great do, and what she did was she went ahead and used her hand as a palette. She mixed a little bit of the liquid blush, and um, yeah, this is what it looks like, like that. So she makes some of that on the back of her hand with a little bit of the Lumi Glow Lotion from L'Oreal. Actually, she went ahead and used, um, I believe it was, she had the uh, the highlighter from Rare Beauty. I don't have that. So I went ahead and mixed these two together on the back of my hand, and then I applied it to my cheek. And then I kind of went from there. So as far as what I did afterwards, in order to go ahead and try to keep um, the blush on a little bit longer, because on me it always fades really quickly. Um, I have uh, normal to oily skin, and um, it, well, combination skin really. But I find that my face oils kind of eat um, they just break up uh, blush really quick, so I'm always trying to figure out what to do to keep the blush on. So one of the tricks is going ahead and putting a powder over a liquid, which is what I did. This is the Milani La Rosa, so I went ahead and put this on top of that mixture. And then what I did from there was add some highlighter, and so I went ahead and used the Undone Highlighter. And I used uh, these two shades up at the top, the really light pink, and then this peachy one. And so that's what I have on as far as the highlighter. And I mixed in a little bit of Star Surfer to go with it. Star Surfer is from Kaleidos. You can get this on the Kaleidos website. And um, this is what they look like. Kaleidos has been really popular. Um, I really like their, uh, yeah, their highlighter formulas. They're just really pretty. This one's pretty icy. And again, it's Star Surfer and Undone Beauty. Undone Beauty, you can actually get an Ulta. And so, as far as moving on to the eyes, and that was the palette that, um, when I first got this, it's the Berries by Beauty Bay. I took one look at it and was like, yes, I love that palette. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, but when I kept on working with it, I kept on ending up with editorial looks, and it's really, really pigmented. So um, I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and try it again, and we'll work with it so it isn't as editorial as what it was. Um, I used this as my base right here, and then I used this one on the outer corner. I used this one on the inner corner. And then I went ahead and used, which one did I use? It was uh, this one on the lid. And when I got to that point, I just thought, that's just a little bit too bright. It's not going to, for what I'm doing today, it's not going to be working right. So I combined it with uh, Desert Sage. And um, I only used one shade out of Desert Sage. I used this pretty rose gold up here. And I, I put it on my lid as well. And it just brought it down a little bit to the point where I felt comfortable with it for an everyday look. And um, there aren't, I mean, there are a ton of times when I would, <laughs> would and do love an editorial look. And I'll love this one. Um, but just 
to go ahead and tone it down a little bit. Um, I thought that that rose gold really did well. And so again, I have a, a combination of these two on today. Um, the other way that I went ahead and thought about doing this was to go ahead and use this. This is Glow Globe by She Glam. And um, it's a highlighter. It's more of a, uh, well, it has those little uh, micro, yeah, the micro um, sparkles in it. And so what I did was I went ahead and put those up through here just to break it up a little bit, give it a little pearlized effect. Um, but I think that helped a little bit too. And I could have done that on the lid instead of going to the rose gold. Um, again, it has pretty micro sparkles in it. Um, but either way would work. And so for me, it just helped a little bit to tone it down <clears throat> somewhat. As far as what I used on um, the rest of my face, I um, went ahead and used the gel eyeliner from, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Colourpop, and the NYX Thick It Stick It in the Light Ash Brown. And then I went ahead and used the NYX On The Rise. Uh, this is a mascara primer. It has some castor oil in it. Um, it helps your lashes to feel all nice. And um, then I also use the of I Love Extreme, and this one's by Essence to go ahead and get the lash look. The way the eye look turned out is kind of like this. So sort of like that. I did go ahead and use the Flower Bronzer. This one is in, uh, <coughs> excuse me again, uh, Sunrise. And then what I thought I'd do is go ahead and use a little bit of the ColourPop lip oil. And um, I did put on the number 90. This is the Super Stay Ink Crayon. Um, and this one is by Maybelline. And I uh, need to put some lip oil on. As you can see, I have a little bit of a cold here. So that's with the lip oil on. I did uh, put a few of the sprinkles um, from this one onto the lips so that they'd have a little bit of sparkle too. And uh, yeah, going for the really sparkly look today. But uh, let's see, did use a couple more products and um, use the Sungasm. I broke out my uh, backup. <coughs> And so uh, this is what I have as my finishing powder on. And let's see. Um, I was going to go ahead and do a tip that I that I knew about, but I hadn't really done until now. And that is to go ahead and get the Ordinary, their glycolic 7% lotion, and they give you a ton of it. And to go ahead and use this uh, not just on the face, but on the body as well. I heard uh, Nad Nadine Baggett, who's, um, she's on YouTube UK, and she was saying that um, everything, the farther away that any limb is, <coughs> can, excuse me, that any limb is uh, from the trunk of the body, the more uh, moisture they're going to need and the drier they're going to be. So uh, what I've been doing with this is I've been going ahead and using it on my arms and on my legs. And um, usually the night before I'm going to do a bath um, or a shower. And that way it gives it time to work. And um, it sloughs off all the old skin 
I mean, I still dry brush, and if you don't know what dry brushing is, that's just using a brush on your skin and going up toward the heart. So you start down at your ankles, and then, I mean, use a nice brush, don't use the prickly one, and you just uh, go ahead and brush up. So I'll do that right before a bath or a shower. <clears throat> but if I add this on the night before, then I get really good results and I get very nice soft skin at the end of my shower which is really nice. So um, I think those are all of my uh, tips, tricks, and uh, look for the day. And uh, that's the end of the video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.